Hello children, how are you? Welcome to our Affinity Digital. I am Utpal Pathak sir, the senior botany faculty of Affinity. Today I am going to discuss the full length test 2 of the botany part. So let us discuss this paper nicely. Children, let us discuss the question, first question of this paper. Which of the following organisms given in the table below are not correctly matched with their chromosome number in myocytes and gametes? As you know, that myocytes are diploid cells, okay, and gametes are always haploid. So, in for the first three option, the chromosome number in that is number of chromosome in myocyte and number of chromosome in gametes for the first three option they are correctly matched but as for question option number four for onion number of chromosome in the myocyte should be 16 number of chromosome in the myocyte should be 16 and number of chromosome in the gametes should be 8 so that is why that is why option number four is not correctly matched with respect to the number of chromosome in the myocyte and the and number of chromosome in the gamut. So you have to pick up the incorrectly matched one. That is option number four. So moving on to the next question. This is the solution. In the solution, I have already written number of chromosome in each myocyte of onion plant is 16 and so the number of chromosome in each gamete will be 8. Okay. Next question, may I Which of the following human chromosomal disorder represents a sex chromosomal trisomy? The answer for this question is option number 3. Trisomy of sex chromosome. Who, which disease is representing which chromosomal disorder is Kleinfelder syndrome? In normal human beings, there are two sex chromosomes. But individuals with Kleinfelder syndrome has three sex chromosomes. Has three sex chromosomes. That is, that is 2X and 2Y. Besides, besides the 44 total autosomes. So, individuals with Kleinfelter syndrome have the normal 44 autosomes plus 3 sex chromosome instead of 2 sex chromosome. That is X, X, Y. That means 3 sex chromosome means this is 3 sex chromosome means trisomy of sex chromosome. That is why Kleinf people with Kleinfelter syndrome are said to are, are said to represent sex chromosomal trisomy but down syndrome down syndrome and edward syndrome are autosomal trisomy autosomal trisomy what are autosomes children trisomy and edward syndrome is also autosomal trisomy try so me. Down syndrome is due to presence of an extra member of human chromosome number 21. Isliye Down syndrome ka ek dusra naam hai 21 trisomy. Edward syndrome is another trisomy of a particular autosome called human chromosome number 18. Isliye human chromosome number 18 is an autosome. So Human people with Edward syndrome has extra member of human chromosome number 18. That means three members of chromosome number 18. That is why it is it represents an autosomal trisomy of which particular chromosome? Chromosome number 18. And Turner syndrome may normal humans may X to do X chromosome hota hai, like in Turner syndrome, people with Turner syndrome may ache X chromosome hai. Isliye, it is called, it is, it is a type of monosomy, type of what? Monosomy of sex chromosome. 
monosomy of sex chromosome monosomy of sex chromosome and turner's people with turner syndrome have total number of 45 chromosome that means 44 autosome plus 1 x chromosome so total number of chromosome kitna ho gaya 45 instead of 46 matlab ek sex chromosome nahi hai matlab 46 human chromosome 46 human chromosome means 2n mane diploid 45 human chromosome means what that means 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 means monosomy yes so 2n minus 1 yes so minus 1 hai it is due to the absence of one sex chromosome and which particular sex chromosome is absent in individual showing turner syndrome that is y chromosome is absent matlab one a one sex chromosome is absent is liye monosomy bolta hai monosomy of sex chromosome ya monosomy of autosome monosomy of sex chromosome is liye individuals with turner syndrome ko bolta hai monosomy sex chromosomal monosomy hello children ye jo question hai next question it is related to blood group in human men ka blood group a b dia women ka blood group b dia what is their probability to have a son with B blood group? Probability to have a son with B blood group. In human beings, a girl hoga ya lerki hoga in every pregnancy, what is the probability? Probability is half. Okay. Now, like in yahape men ka blood group kya dia? Men ka blood group dia hai AB, genotype kya hoga, IA, IB, or female ka zo, omen ka blood group kya dia? Homozygous for BB. Genotype kya hoga? IB, IB. So, kaisa type of offspring possible hai? With what blood group? You will have two genotypes, IA, IB, and, ano and another type of genotype in the progeny that is possible, that is IB, IB. Okay. Then, what genotype is the cause phenotype is the effect so this type of progeny will have a b blood group and this type of progeny will have b blood group matlab ek progeny ko b blood group hone ke liye probability is half ek progeny to have a b blood group probability is half lekin yahan pe kya pucha hai what is the probability to have a son with b blood group what is the individual probability to have a son with B blood group? A progeny ko B blood group hone ke liye individual probability kitna hai? Half. So what is the combined probability of these parents to have a son with B blood group? So unke liye answer will be 1 by 4. So 1 by 4 is the answer. Okay. So this half is individual probability to have a son and this half is individual probability to have B blood group. So combined probability of these parents to have B blood group, combined probability to have a son with B blood group is half into half, matlab 1 by 4 will be the answer. Moving on to the next question or this is the solution I have given. Here the progeny to have B blood group, the probability is half and the progeny to have a b blood group the probability is half the parents to have a son with b blood group the combined probability nikal na parega to half into half matlab 1 by 4 will be the answer moving on to the next question the genotype of a plant showing the dominant phenotype can be determined by what test cross so uh, in a solution i have written to know the genotype of a individual who is showing a dominant phenotype it has to be that individual has to be crossed with an individual of the same species which is showing the recessive form of the same character such a cross is what what is called test cross okay suppose suppose if you are supplied with a tall pea plant then you are asked what is the genotype of this supplied tall pea plant so to know that means that means to know the unknown genotype of this tall pea plant, you have to cross 
any pea plant which is dwarf and dwarfness in garden pea has already been proved by Mendel to be a what? Recessive trait. And the appearance of the progeny made from this cross will reveal the unknown genotype of the pea plant, whether the supplied tall pea plant is whether the supplied tall pea plant is pure tall or impure tall. Pure tall means homozygous tall, impure tall means heterozygous tall. And kaise mila, kaise milne ke liye kya karna parega? Test cross karna parega. Test cross me one individual will show the dominant character, dominant phenotype. Ek individual jo ek dominant character dikha raha hai, unka genotype nikalne ke liye you have to cross with an individual of the same species who is showing the recessive form of the character. Such a cross is called what? Test cross. So genetics may test cross related questions. Bohot type aata hai. Then next question. Two, this is a question on molecular basis of inheritance chapter. Two adjacent nucleotides of a polynucleotide chain are linked through. Then what will be the answer? For, for getting the answer, answer is, dekhye, ye, let us move on to the question again. Two adjacent nucleotides of a polynucleotide chain are linked through. So what will be the 3 prime to 5 prime phosphoester linkage diya hai. Option 2 may 5 prime to 3 prime phosphoester linkage diya. Or option 3, 3 prime to 5 prime phosphodiester linkage hai. So answer hoga ye. Ye to glycosidic bond ka hai. Between a, between a purine, between any purine and any, any pentose sugar of nucleus. Ye answer nahi hai. To answer hoga option number 3. Two adjacent nucleotides of a polynucleotide. You have a poly, repeat hoga polynucleotide chain of DNA or RNA are linked through 3 prime to 5 prime phosphodiester linkage. Okay. okay, moving on to the next question. Which of the following radioactive isotopes were used for labeling of protein and DNA of bacterial virus in Hutchess's experiment? See, Hutchess's experiment unequivocally proved that DNA is the genetic material, unequivocally, that is agreed by all. And in their experiment, a bacterial virus was selected by them, that is T2 bacteriophage. And a bacteria was also selected for their experiment, called E. coli bacteria. And in their experiment, to prove that DNA is the genetic material of this bacterial virus, okay, they took they took two radioactive isotopes for labeling the protein and DNA of the bacterial virus. And to label the protein of the bacterial virus, they use a radioactive isotope of sulfur, that is sulfur 35. And to label the DNA of the virus, they use phosphorus 32, which is a radioactive isotope of phosphorus. So answer for this particular question will be option 3. Okay. In the solution I have given the Hutchess experiment S35 was used to label protein of the bacterial virus and phosphorus 32 was used for labeling the DNA of the bacterial virus. Moving on to the next question. This is a question on ecology. On the chapter organisms and population. Resource partitioning. In ecologically, resource matlab kya? Food and space. And all organisms, all species in the, all in the ecosystem are facing competition. But, but these, though the organisms are facing competition, they are living in the same habitat indefinitely, though the resources are limiting by evolving a mechanism called resource partitioning. Resource partitioning ka concept Mac Arthur ne diya tha. So resource partitioning is an important mechanism which promotes competitive release, coexistence, competitive exclusion, antibiosis. So answer will be what? Coexistence rather than exclusion. So iska jo solution hai 
रिसोर्स पार्टिसन इज ए मेकानिजिम डेवलप बै मेनि स्पीसीज डेट प्रमोस को एक्सिस्टेन्स राधार देन ह्वाट एक्सक्लूशन अफ ह्वाट स्पीसीज मुविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अच्छा दिस इज अल्सो ए क्वेश्चन ऑन इकोलॉजी ये भी एक क्वेश्चन है इकोलॉजी पार्ट से दीज आर द टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरेक्शन गिवेन हियर पपुलेशन इंटरेक्शन म्यूचुअलिज्म इज ए बेनिफिशियल इंटरेक्शन डेट मीन्स बोथ इन म्यूचुअलिज्म बोथ द स्पीसीज आर बेनिफिटेड बेनिफिशियल इंटरेक्शन को रिप्रेजेंट करता है प्लस साइन से सो म्यूचुअलिज्म बोथ द स्पीसीज आर बेनिफिटेड सो रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई प्लस प्लस पैरासाइटिम में पैरासाइटिज्म में पैरासाइट इज बेनिफिटेड इसलिए प्लस लेकिन होस्ट इज हार्म इसलिए वाट माइनस कॉमेंसलिज्म में इज ए टाइप ऑफ कॉमेंसलिज्म क्या है एक ऐसा पॉपुलेशन इंटरेक्शन है जिसमें एक स्पीसीज बेनिफिट होता है दूसरा स्पीसीज हार्म भी नहीं होता है बेनिफिट भी नहीं होता है मतलब हार्म भी नहीं होगा बेनिफिट भी नहीं होगा तो जीरो से रिप्रेजेंट करता है तो कॉमेंसलिज्म के लिए एक को प्लस कहना चाहिए इसको प्लस देना चाहिए एक को जीरो देना चाहिए जीरो मतलब नाइदर हार्म नॉर वाट बेनिफिटेड यहां पे क्या होना चाहिए प्लस जीरो होना चाहिए लेकिन यहां पे क्या दिया प्लस प्लस इसलिए इनका एक मैच कौन सा है ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री प्रीडेशन में भी प्रीडेटर बेनिफिटेड है इसलिए प्लस और जिसको खाते हैं प्रीडेटर उसका हार्म होता है तो मतलब क्या माइनस so answer for this particular question will be option number थ्री so इसका solution ये है तो commensalism is a type of population interaction in which one species benefits the other species neither harm nor benefited इसलिए zero से represent करता है and this interaction is overall represented as plus zero but ऑप्शन में क्या दिया है ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री में ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री में क्या दिया है प्लस प्लस दिया है इसमें प्लस जीरो होना चाहिए और सर नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन अगेन ऑन इकोलॉजी इन दिस क्वेश्चन ये क्वेश्चन में द बायोमास एवेलेबल फॉर कंजम्पन बाय हर्बी बोर्स एंड डिकम्पोजर्स इज कॉल अच्छा ऑप्शन चार ऑप्शन ये ग्रॉस प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी Which is also written as GPP and net primary productivity abbreviated में लिखता है abbreviation में NPP secondary productivity SP and this is standing growth. Gross primary productivity क्या है the rate at which the green plants produce organic matter in the form of carbohydrates by the process of photosynthesis. पार यूनिट एरिया पार यूनिट टाइम इज कॉल ग्रॉस प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड ग्रॉस जितना भी कार्बोहाइड्रेट ग्रॉस प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी से बनता है डू यू थिंक ऑल दिज ऑर्गेनिक मेटर प्रोड्यूस टू ग्रॉस प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी डू यू थिंक ऑल दिज ऑर्गेनिक प्रोडक्ट आर यूटिलाइज टू मेक न्यू बायोमास इन द ऑर्गेनिज्म नो तो इसलिए तो ए लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनिक मेटर इज यूज एज सबस्ट्रेट इज यूज एज फ्यूल इज यूज फॉर एरोबिक सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन सो सो बाकी जो ऑर्गेनिक मेटर रहता है उनको बोलता है नेट प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी सो नेट प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी इज इक्वल टू वन इज इक्वल टू जी पी पी ग्रॉस प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी माइनस रेस्पिरेटोरी लॉसेस माइनस रेस्पिरेटोरी लॉसेस रेस्पिरेटोरी डेट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय आर सो ये को एनपीपी एनपीपी इज द अवेलेबल बायोमास व्हिच इज अवेलेबल फॉर कंजम्पशन बाय द हिटरोट्रोप्स हिटरोट्रोप्स इकोसिस्टम में कौन है हर्बीबोर्स है क्या है हर्बीबोर्स कौन सा हिटरोट्रोप्स हर्बीबोर एंड कार्निबोर बोथ आर हिटरोट्रोप्स बिकॉज़ दीज आर एनिमल्स बिकॉज़ एनिमल्स आर एनिमल्स आर व्हाट हेटरोट्रोप्स बिकॉज़ दे कैन नॉट प्रोड्यूस देयर ओन फूड लेकिन दीज नेट प्राइमरी प्रोडक्टिविटी इज द अवेलेबल बायोमास फॉर कंजम्पशन बाय व्हाट टाइप ऑफ हिटरोट्रोप हर्बीबोर डीकंपोजर्स एंड डेट्रीवोर्स सो आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन विल बी व्हाट नेट प्राइमरी व्हाट प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड सेकेंडरी प्रोडक्टिविटी क्या है सेकेंडरी प्रोडक्टिविटी इज रिलेटेड टू द कंज्यूमर्स ऑफ द इको सिस्टम सो व्हाट इज सेकेंडरी व्हाट इज सेकेंडरी प्रोडक्टिविटी सेकेंडरी प्रोडक्टिविटी 
secondary productivity is the rate at which the ecosystem consumers convert the energy of the food they eat into their own new biomass that is called secondary productivity so for example for example the rate of formation of new biomass by the rabbit population or zebra population of a grassland will be what secondary productivity hoga to lekin is question ka answer hoga net primary productivity so net so iska solution mein main kya diya net primary productivity is the gross primary productivity minus the amount of organic matter lost in cellular respiration npp is that is npp is equal to gpp minus respiration loss npp is the available biomass for consumption by heterotrophs that is herbivores what heterotrophs which heterotrophs herbivores detritivores and what decomposers moving on to the next question this is also a question on ecology on the ecosystem chapter which of the following animals may occupy more than one tropic level in the same ecosystem at the same time so answer for this particular question will be sparrow dekhiye goat always occupies only one tropic level in the ecosystem that is the second tropic level because goat is herbivore herbivore occupies second tropic level frog frog occupies the third tropic level that is secondary consumer level okay then sparrow sparrow occupies more than one tropic level when a sparrow eat insects or fruits it is behaving as what herbivore ecologically so herbivore occupies the when a sparrow is eating seeds fruits it is occupying which tropic level second tropic level that is primary consumer level that is herbivore level but when a sparrow sparrow also eat insects and worms so when a sparrow eat insects and worm it occupies the tertiary tropic level means third tropic level that is what secondary uh, tertiary consumer level so sparrow here occupies what more than one tropic level lion is always a carnivore so it always occupies one tropic level but in this for, with respect to this option sparrow is occupying more than one tropic level i can give you so many other examples of uh, organism below suppose fish fish eat both phytoplankton as well as zooplankton that means occupies more than one tropic level similarly a parrot occupies more than one tropic level. a parrot eats seeds seeds grains it also eat insects it also eat snakes so it occupies it also eats some reptiles like lizards so it occupies more than parrot also occupies more than one tropic level so many many organisms in the ecosystem occupies more than one tropic level for this particular question sparrow occupies more than one tropic level compared to the other options okay so moving on to the next question degree of biodiversity this is another question on ecology because ecology is a very important part of your <coughs> botany paper because eight to ten questions generally comes from ecology so the next question is also so i have put on ecology degree of biodiversity biodiversity and conservation chapter se ye question diya gaya hai to degree of biodiversity increases from what equator to poles na poles to equator hoga no poles to equator hona chahiye to option 2 mein to wohi hai poles to equator poles to equator means what poles to equator means what high latitude to low latitude hona chahiye lekin option 3 mein kya hai low latitude to high latitude diya hai aur option 4 mein kya diya hai we with respect to a mountain by diversity increases from high latitude high altitude to low altitude hona hai yahan pe kya diya hai low altitude to high altitude diya hai to isliye answer most appropriate answer kaun sa hoga according to this question according to the option supplied poles to what equator poles to equator means in terms of latitudinal gradient ye hoga kya low uh, high latitude to low latitude hona chahiye lekin yahan pe diya hai low latitude to high latitude isliye ye answer nahi hai ठीक है एंड विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू माउंटेन बायोडाइवर्सिटी इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम व्हाट हाई लेटिट्यूड टू लो लेटिट्यूड सॉरी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू ए माउंटेन 
बायोडाइवर्सिटी इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड टू लो ऑल्टीट्यूड लेकिन यहां पे दिया लो ऑल्टीट्यूड टू हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बायोडाइवर्सिटी इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम पोल्स टू इक्वेटर दैट इज हाई लेटीट्यूड टू लो लेटीट्यूड एंड इन केस ऑफ माउंटेन हाई ऑल्टीट्यूड टू लो ऑल्टीट्यूड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन in a co this is another important question on ecology part from the environmental issues chapter called environmental issues in a coal fire fire power plant which is a thermal plant okay electrostatic precipitators are installed to control the emission of kya hoga particulate matter so particulate matter to aapne suna hai to which causes the greatest harm in humans ओके, बिकॉज दे आर डीपली इनहेल्ड बाय द लंग्स एंड कॉजेज रेस्पिरेटरी डिजॉर्डर्स लाइक एजमा ब्रोनकाइटिस सो एंड टू रिमूव द सस्पेंडेड पार्टिकुलेट मेटर प्रेजेंट इन द एग्जॉस्ट फ्रॉम ए फ्लावर पावर प्लांट फ्रॉम थर्मेल फ्लावर प्लांट इज दैट इज एस पी एम एस पी एम मीन्स सस्पेंडेड पार्टिकुलेट मेटर एस पी एम का मतलब है सस्पेंडेड पार्टिकुलेट मेटर Suspended particulate matter, suspended particulate SPM, SPM. So electrostatic precipitator are used to remove what suspended particulate matter. And a scrubber connection me bolta hu. A scrubber is also a device which is used to remove gaseous pollutant. So gaseous pollutants ko remove karne ke liye kaun sa device istemal karta hai? तो स्क्राबर बोलता है एस सी आर यू बी बी ई आर स्क्राबर मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये तो सॉल्यूशन था उस क्वेश्चन का जो अभी मैं बोल चुका हूं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द न्यू वेराइटी ऑफ एबलमोसास एस्कुलेंटास रेजिस्टेंट टू येलो मोजाइक डिरीज इज कॉल परवानी क्रांट्री परवानी क्रांट्री रेजिस्टेंट टू हुई वायरस येल्लो मोजाइक वायरस मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये था सोल्यूशन है तो परवानी क्रांति ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ट्रीट दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑन सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट ओके देखिए ये क्वेश्चन है सीवेज ट्रीटमेंट के ऊपर तो पहला ऑप्शन क्या डाला है ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर इज डन बाय हेटरट्रोपिक माइक्रोव्स नेचरली प्रेजेंट इन सीवेज दिस इज ट्रू और फॉल्स यू आर टू आक् to find the correct statement ye true statement ya correct statement children boliye bachcho ye correct statement hai ye kyu wrong hai ye statement kyu wrong hai greater the bod bod ka matlab biochemical oxygen demand matlab the amount of dissolved oxygen required by aerobic microorganism present in water to to decompose to decompose or to degrade whatever organic matter is present in 1 liter of water that is called bod jitna hi jyada organic matter water mein rahega utna hi hoga demand for dissolved oxygen okay so greater the bod of the waste water less is is polluting nature organic matter water mein jitna hi sara jitna hi jyada organic matter hoga तो उसका पोल्यूटिंग नेचर ज्यादा होगा मतलब बीओडी ज्यादा होगा सो ग्रेटर द बीओडी ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर मोर विल बी इज पोल्यूटिंग पोटेंशियल तो यहां पे क्या दिया लेस इसलिए ये आंसर नहीं है करेक्ट आंसर नहीं है फ्लॉक्स आर मासेस ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड वायरसेस ये यहां तक ठीक है एक्चुअली फ्लॉक्स क्या है सीवेज वाटर में जो फ्लॉक्स है वो है दे आर मासेज ऑफ एरोबिक बैक्टेरिया एंड and filamentous fungi not virus so ye answer isliye nahi hai biogas is inflammable na non flammable it biogas is highly inflammable so that is why biogas is used for uh, used as a source of energy for lighting as well as cooking purpose lekin yahan pe kya diya non flammable diya hai isliye ये आंसर नहीं है करेक्ट करेक्ट ऑप्शन नहीं है करेक्ट करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नहीं है तो इसलिए आंसर क्या होगा सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर ऑप्शन नंबर वन नेक्स्ट इज 
सो so, यहां पे मैंने सॉल्यूशन डाला है तो क्या है ग्रेटर द बीओडी वे मोर इज इज पोल्यूटिंग पोटेंशियल फ्लॉक्स आर मासेस ऑफ एरोबिक बैक्टीरिया अलोंग विद फिलामेंटस फंगी बायोगैस इज इनफ्लेमेबल सो कैन बी यूज्ड एज सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर कुकिंग एंड लाइटिंग पर्पस मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ स्पेशल प्रोटीन्स दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन ट्रांसपोर्ट इन प्लेन चैप्टर सब चैप्टर से रिप्रेजेंटेटिव क्वेश्चन इस पेपर में डाला हुआ हूं तो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ स्पेशल मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन्स एंड हाईली सिलेक्टिव नेचर आर फीचर्स रिलेटेड टू व्हाट फैसिलिटेटेड डिफ्यूजन एंड व्हाट एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट बोट सो ओवरऑल आंसर क्या होगा ये होगा ओके okay, चिल्ड्रेन तो ये दोनों हैं मोर देन वन में कौन शामिल हो गया फैसिलिटेड डिफ्यूजन एज वेल एज व्हाट एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट इन फैसिलिटेड डिफ्यूजन इज व्हाट नेट मूवमेंट ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स और आयोन्स फ्रॉम द रीजन ऑफ हायर कंसेंट्रेशन टू द वार रीजन ऑफ लोअर कंसेंट्रेशन फैसिलिटेटेड बाय स्पेशल मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन्स ऑफ द मेम्ब्रेन सेल मेम्ब्रेन कॉल ट्रांसपोर्ट प्रोटीन एंड एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट इज इट इज अफिल ट्रांसपोर्ट इन विच इट इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ ए मॉलिक्यूल और आयोन फ्रॉम द रीजन ऑफ इज लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन टू द रीजन ऑफ इज वार हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ओके इट इज डन बाय टू मूव दिस मॉलिक्यूल्स फ्रॉम द रीजन ऑफ लो कंसेंट्रेशन टू द रीजन ऑफ हायर कंसेंट्रेशन एक्स्ट्रा एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड एज वेल एज मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन इज व्हाट रिक्वायर्ड एंड इन बोथ द केसेस मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन्स कॉल्ड ट्रांसपोर्ट प्रोटीन्स आर रिक्वायर्ड एंड आल्सो दे आर हाईली सिलेक्टिव इन नेचर ओके देन नेक्स्ट इज सो यहां पे मैंने सॉल्यूशन दे दिया बोथ द टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट आर हाईली सिलेक्टिव इन नेचर this type of things we have already discussed in the class nicely in details which of the metabolites next question which of the metabolites is common to respiration mediated breakdown of fats proteins and carbohydrates respiration mediated kaun sa respiration ka question hai ye ye aerobic respiration ka question hai so answer for this particular question will be acetyl coenzyme a एसिटाइल को एंजाइम है सो एसिटाइल को एंजाइम कौन है एसिटाइल को एंजाइम इज ए इंटरमीडिएट ऑफ एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन इंटरमीडिएट ऑफ एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन व्हिच इज द मीटिंग ग्राउंड ऑफ ऑल फूड स्टाफ दैट इज फैट्स प्रोटीन्स एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स इन सेलुलर कैटाबोलिज्म सो आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए दिस थिंग दीज आर दिस ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन क्लास इन डिटेल्स अच्छा एसिडाइल को इज इंटरमीडिएट कॉमन टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन एंड फैट ऑक्सीडेशन इन एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम और रेस्पिरेटरी इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट चेन कॉन्टेन्स टू कॉपर सेंटर सो आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन विल बी वाट कॉम्प्लेक्स फोर कॉम्प्लेक्स फोर कॉम्प्लेक्स फोर इज ऑल्सो कॉल कॉम्प्लेक्स फोर is also called as cytochrome cytochrome c oxidase complex cytochrome c oxidase complex this complex ye complex this complex this complex contains contains two copper two copper centers two copper centers this is denoted as denoted as copper a and copper b this complex these these two copper these two copper are constituents are constituents of cytochrome cytochrome short me likha cytochrome a and cytochrome a3 this complex of respiratory ets contains two cytochrome cytochrome a and cytochrome a3 both the cytochrome mein iron hai iron ke ilawa cytochrome a cytochrome a ka iron ke ilawa aur kya hai ek copper hai this copper of cytochrome a is designated as copper a and the copper of cytochrome a3 is cub copper b okay and these 
सो दिस इज द आंसर सो दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन आई हैव गिवन कॉम्प्लेक्स फोर कंटेंस टू साइटोक्रोम साइटोक्रोम ए एंड साइटोक्रोम एंड टू कॉपर सेंटर्स ओके सी यू ए एंड सी वी मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी फ्रॉम टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज इन फर्मेंटेशन इज 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 क्या होगा इन फर्मेंटेशन और फर्मेंटेशन का दूसरा नाम है एनेरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन इन फर्मेंटेशन नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज इज टू एटीपी ये टू एटीपी कैसे होता है ग्लाइकोलाइसिस में फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज फोर एटीपी मॉलिक्यूल्स आर प्रोड्यूस बाय प्रोसेस कॉल सबस्ट्रेट लेवल फॉस्फोरेलेशन लेकिन ग्लाइकोलाइसिस में दो एटीपी खर्चा होता है क्योंकि फर्मेंटेशन का फास्ट जो पार्ट है ग्लाइकोलाइसिस बोलता है और फर्मेंटेशन में नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी जो दो टू एटीपी होता है वो ग्लाइकोलाइसिस में ही होता है तो ग्लाइकोलाइसिस में एक ग्लूकोज से चार एटीपी बनता है लेकिन दो खर्चा होता है इसलिए नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टू ए इज इक्वल टू टू ए लेकिन इस इन दिस क्वेश्चन इस क्वेश्चन में तो कितना मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी फ्रॉम टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज तो टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज से कितना होगा चार एटीपी होगा नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी फ्रॉम टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज इन्फॉर्मेशन विल बी फोर एटीपी सो आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर वन ओके फार्मेंटेशन द फार्मेंटेशन इन इन होना चाहिए इन फार्मेंटेशन द नेट गेन ऑफ एटीपी फ्रॉम वन ग्लूकोज इज टू ए so to net gain of atp from two glucose is 4 atp next pigments are or this is a question on photosynthesis pigments are organized into two discrete photochemical light harvesting complex within photosystem 1 and 2 these are name ye jo light harvesting complex hai photosystem 1 and 2 ka they are name sps1 and ps2 q bolta hai based on the sequence of their discovery not because of this okay so answer for this particular question is again option number 1 so the light harvesting complex of ps1 and ps2 are named in order of their in the order in the sequence of their discovery next is next question the process this is another question on photosynthesis the process which makes major difference between c3 and c4 plant dekhiye C3 majority of the plants is dunia mein are C3 plants because all algae, all bryophytes, all pteridophytes, gymnosperm and 99% of angiosperm are C3 plants. Or C3 plants mein when light intensity is very high, then a wasteful light dependent respiratory process occurs called photorespiration. And when photorespiration occurs in a C3 plant, sugar synthesis as well as it sugar synthesis. stops in the plant stops in the plant because photorespiration ka jo enzyme the enzyme that starts photorespiration woh hai rubisco rubisco again also the same enzyme dark reaction bhi start karta hai lekin jab photorespiration ek c3 plant mein ho raha hai rubisco is fixing oxygen it is showing oxygenase activity and starting photorespiration jab ek c3 plant mein photorespiration chalta hai photosyn dark reaction of photosynthesis band ho jata hai product of dark reaction of photosynthesis is carbohydrate matlab sugars so jab ek c3 plant mein sugar synthesis banta hai jab jab pe photo photoresp jab ek c3 plant mein uh, photorespiration chal raha hai sugar synthesis stops so net carbohydrate synthesis in the plant is decrease hence photorespiration is a wasteful process and photorespiration kaha hota hai c3 plant mein photorespiration is absent in c4 plant photorespiration why it is absent in c4 plant because c4 plants have a carbon dioxide concentrating mechanism called hatch and slack what pathway so answer for this particular question the major difference between c3 and c4 plant is what absence of photorespiration in c4 plant and presence of photorespiration in c3 plant so what is the major difference between c3 and c4 that is photorespiration solution mein dekhiye c4 plants differs from c3 plants mainly in the presence of photorespiration c4 plants ha huh? c4 plants photorespiration occurs only in c3 plants next question 
during the formation of leaves and elongation of the stem some cells left behind from shoot apical meristem constitute this is a question on anatomy as you have seen this question aap logo ko pata chal gaya ki ye question kaun sa chapter se hai anatomy of flowering plant se hai to ye is question ka answer kya hoga axillary bud so let us move on to the next question axillary bud okay let us move on to the next question question number 122 in in kya hoga blank protozoelem lies towards the periphery and metazoelem lies towards the center matlab towards the pit such an arrangement of primary xylem is called what so a hoga roots or such an arrangement of primary xylem elements ko bolta hai exarg so in all roots primary xylem is exarg primary xylem is exarg and in all stem primary xylem is endarg endarg matlab protozoelem near the center metazoelem away from the center but the metazoelem towards the periphery usko bolta hai endarg endarg protozoelem is found endarg primary xylem is found in all stem dicostem as well as monocostems next question the ye likh diya hai option me protozoelem lies towards the periphery and doesn't present such an arrangement of primary xylem is called exarch next question spring wood differs from atom this is another ye ek question ek do ek dusra question hai anatomy chapter ka hi to to spring wood differs from atom wood in having kya hoga presence of spring wood plus atom wood these are two rings of sec wood mane secondary wood ka matlab secondary xylem तो स्प्रिंग वुड इज ए रिंग ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रिक रिंग ऑफ सेकेंडरी जाइलेम फॉर्म इन फॉर्म इन अर्ली पार्ट ऑफ द ईयर एंड लेट वुड इज फॉर्म इज अनदर कॉन्सेंट्रिक रिंग ऑफ सेकेंडरी जाइलेम फॉर्म इन लेटर पार्ट ऑफ द ईयर इन केस ऑफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन केस ऑफ प्लेंट्स ग्रोइंग इन टेम्पर डाइकोट प्लेंट्स और डाइकोट ट्रीज ग्रोइंग इन टेम्परेट फॉरेस्ट in temperate forest climatic variation are pronounced so the cam vascular cambium shows differential activity and accordingly produce xylem vessels of the secondary xylem with differential diameter of the vessel elements okay spring wood and autumn wood is formed in one year one spring wood one autumn wood is equal to one annual ring formed in one year because annual examination is held in once in a year or twice once in a year isliye ek annual ring mein one annual ring contains two rings two concentric rings of secondary xylem early wood plus late wood formed in one year is equal to one annual ring by counting the number of annual ring in cross section of a dicot tree we can roughly we can we can approximately estimate the age of a tree okay this science of determining the approximate age of a tree is called dendrochronology now spring wood or autumn wood may koi spring wood is also called early wood autumn wood is also called late wood so spring wood is lighter in color and have low density lighter in color and low density and have and have large number of xylary elements with having larger diameter of the vessels means xylem vessels with wider lumen lekin late wood is darker in color have higher density and have xylem vessels with narrow diameter and here density <coughs> so in spring wood number of cells Per unit area is less. That is why density is less. Okay. So answer presence of narrow vessels. Yeah, white vessel होना चाहिए. White vessel होना चाहिए. Having low density or high density. यहाँ पे high density है. It should have low. It is having spring wood is having low density and presence of large number of xylary elements having vessels with wider 
लुमेन ये होगा आंसर और बींग लाइटर इन कलर होना चाहिए या डरकर लाइटर होना चाहिए इसलिए ये आंसर नहीं है सो आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ट्वेंटी थ्री इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री तो यहां पे लाइटर इन कलर एंड हैव लो डेंसिटी एंड कैरेक्टराइज बाय प्रेजेंस ऑफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ जाइलरी एलिमेंट्स ओके देन नेक्स्ट इज किल इज द इनरमोस टू स्मॉलेस्ट एंटीरियर पीटेल्स ऑफ द कोरोला ऑफ ऑल फ्लावर्स of fabaceae family that is fabaceae family is also called p family and among these p family ka among these options p family which plant belong to p family that is yahan pe to p diya hai to answer hoga p so p is the characteristic feature of the flower so ab mai aur solution dekhiye jo mai diya hai kill is the innermost smallest anterior two petals of the corolla of flowers of all plants belonging to what fabaceae and p belongs to what fabaceae so option number 3 is the answer next phyllode is present in phyllode is in australian acacia australian species of acacia the p, when these plants are small in the young stage they have pinnately compound leaves but as the plant become taller and grow the leaflets of the pinnately compound leaf falls off and gradually the petiole of the leaves become flattened turn green in color and becomes the struct green structure flattened green structure called phyllode which takes the per function of photosynthesis so phyllode is a modification of leaf found only in australian species of acacia so answer for this question is australian acacia okay and in oponsia 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 me the stem is becomes made modified to become flattened and green to perform photosynthesis oponsia ka jo modified structure hai wo modified stem hai jiska naam hai phylloclade लेकिन ऑस्ट्रेलियन का जो ऑस्ट्रेलियन एकासिया में जो मॉडिफाइड स्ट्रक्चर है उस इज अ मॉडिफाइड लीव कॉल फाइलोर सो आंसर फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर 125 आंसर इज ऑप्शन 1 सो यहां पे मैंने सब कुछ लिख दिया सो यू जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस सॉल्यूशन योरसेल्फ लेटर ऑन नाउ ए टेक्सोनोमिकल दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ बायोलॉजी सिलेबस दैट इज द लिविंग वर्ल्ड तो टेक्सोनोमिकल एड यूज फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ बोथ प्लेन्स एज वेल एज एनिमल्स बेस्ड ऑन कंट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर्स इज कॉल्ड व्हाट मैनुअल की हर्बेरियम मैनुअल की हर्बेरियम और बीजम आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज की की सो की आर बेस्ड ऑन कंट्रास्टिंग पेयर्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर इज पेयर ऑफ कंट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर्स इन ए की इज कॉल्ड कापलेट एंड इज स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ए key is called lead is called lead so while you go through a key there is there is rejection of one option and the acceptance of the other so answer for this particular question is option number 2 key fact based question so next is so answer is key ha huh? acha next question number 127 clamidomonas chlorella amoeba paramecium has been placed together in which kingdom by r h whitaker classification system r h whitaker proposed a five kingdom classification for living organism and desis kingdom classification is called five kingdom classification okay the five kingdoms of r h whitaker classification and kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom plenty and kingdom animalia now in kingdom protista he included all unicellular eukaryotic organisms and clamidomonas chlorella amoeba and paramecium are all unicellular eukaryotic organism and all unicellular eukaryotic organism he placed under kingdom what protista so answer for this particular question is kingdom protista yahan pe maine likh diya in fact he placed all unicellular eukaryotic organism under kingdom protista and these organisms given in the options all are unicellular eukaryotic organism so next question is mad cow disease in cattle and creutzfeldt jakob disease in humans are degenerative disease are degenerative disease in mammals so and these are caused by a group of infectious proteins a misfolded 
misfolded version of a normal glycoprotein of the brain of, of the brain of mammals and these are infectious proteins called prions so this degenerative disease that is mad cow disease in cattle which first occurred in england in great britain in great britain with respect to cows cow is a cattle and creutzfeldt jakob disease another degenerative disease in human is caused by what prions and what are infectious free rna infectious free rna are called viroids viroids and viruses are what infectious nucleoprotein particles and pplo means mycoplasma smallest living cells on earth mycoplasma and these are prions are infectious proteins na non infectious protein infectious infectious proteins prions are infectious proteins one of the prion disease two prion disease has been given in this question that is mad cow disease and creutzfeldt jakob disease yahan pe maine solution mein sab dal diya ab log solution baad mein dekhiye dekhiye next question moving on to the next question acha moving on to the next question which one is wrong about viruses as you know viruses are not do not have a cellular organism that means they are not composed of cells that means since they are not composed of cells they are not composed of protoplasm okay so viruses are what their body structure is very simple so a virus have a all viruses have a protein cover called capsid okay and inside the capsid you have the nucleic acid this nucleic acid may be dna may be dna or rna never both never both okay and of this protein cover called capsid this protein cover called capsid is composed of protein building blocks called capsomeres these capsomeres in the virus are arranged arranged to form different type of symmetry of the capsid like polyhedral symmetry and helical symmetry some viruses have polyhedral symmetry of the capsid whereas some other viruses have helical symmetry of the capsid and viruses outside all viruses are parasites or not, not parasite they are all parasites that means they always cause disease they are always parasite always cause disease okay so they so viruses are parasitic nature of virus is compulsory for them compulsory means obligatory to matlab viruses are intracellular obligate parasite so when virus get inside your body they get inside your cell not they stay outside the cell inside your body they get inside the cell intracellular intracellular obligate parasite that means they always live as parasite so obligate so they get inside the cells of your body so intracellular obligate so this statement is correct na wrong correct okay this statement is correct viruses have an inert crystalline structure outside the specific host cell outside the living host cell they are just like a particle they are just like a particle and chemically stable outside the host they are stable chemically but once they get inside the living cell of a host they become reactive they become unstable and and replicates inside the host cell and to produce the progeny viruses so but outside the host cell outside the host cell they possess a inert crystalline structure crystalline structure is of the virus is basically due to the proteins of the capsid okay next virus vi bacterial viruses that is bacterial viruses are also called bacteriophages are usually double stranded dna viruses this statement is also correct because most of the bacteriophages have double stranded dna as genetic material lekin like option number 4 mein dekhiye all viruses have polyhedral symmetry of their capsid no as i have told you just few minutes ago that some viruses also have helical symmetry helical symmetry jaisa ki the capsid of the tobago mosaic virus have helical symmetry okay many other virus have polyhedral symmetry but yahan pe kya diya all viruses have polyhedral symmetry this is correct na wrong this is wrong because many other viruses have poly not polyhedral symmetry they have helical symmetry so that is why this is the wrong statement about virus so next is this is i have given polyhedral symmetry is not found in all viruses next moving on to the next question question number 30 in which one of the following stages of mitosis chromosomes are most condensed so chromosome 
chromosomal material called chromatin are coiled and condensed to form chromosome to form chromosome first at prophase and due and for our convenience we divide prophase into two parts early prophase and late prophase chromosomes are first seen at late prophase and chromosomes are highly condensed and thick and short in metaphase and to see chromosome very clearly you have to observe at what stage of mitosis metaphase so chromosomes are most condensed at what phase metaphase next question next question next is next is which of the following plastid is a storehouse of proteins okay amyloplast here amyloplast ileuroplast and Ileoplast are the types of leucoplast and leucoplast is a type of plastids. Okay, chromoplast is another. So, based on the type of food they store, leucoplast ka function kya hai? They are colorless plastids. Uska function kya hai? Leucoplast ka storage of food. Lekin, based on the type of food materials they store, leucoplast three types, amyloplast, eleuroplast and ileoplast. So, what type of leucoplast store proteins? It is a storehouse of proteins. Answer is eleuroplast. Eleuroplast. So, moving on to the next question. Exoneme of eukaryotic flagella usually has what? 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubule, 9 plus 0 arrangement of microtubule, cartwheel appearance, then 9 plus 2 arrangement of protofilaments. The, the core of the eukaryotic cilia and eukaryotic flagella is called exoneme. Exoneme of eukaryotic flagella and cilia contains nine, nine peripheral, nine peripheral doublets of microtubules. Nine peripheral doublets of microtubules. And two centrally located singlet microtubules. Nine peripheral doublets of microtubules and two centrally located singlet microtubule such an arrangement of microtubules in the exoneme of eukaryotic flagella as well as eukaryotic cilia is called 9 plus 2 arrangement of micro 9 plus 2 array we will the array array so answer for this question will be this 9 plus 0 arrangement of microtubules is found in the basal body of eukaryotic cilia and flagella and who is the basal body of eukaryotic cilia and flagella it is the centriole so 9 plus 0 arrangement of microtubule is found in centriole which form the basal body of eukaryotic cilia and flagella and cartwheel appearance kis ka hai centriole ka hai 9 plus the two arrangement of protofilaments kabhi bhi kahi pe bhi nahi hai lekin microtubules are composed of Every microtubule is composed of 13 protofilaments. Okay. So, answer for this particular question is option 1. Option 1. Next is, next is, next question is, on a chromosome, the site of attachment of spindle fiber. Dekhiye, ek chromosome draw kar raha hu. Ek metaphase chromosome draw kar raha hu. Dekhiye, yahan pe, ye chromatid, is chromatid ka bhitar kon hai? A condensed and coiled condensed double stranded DNA. The opposite chromatid, bagalwala chromatid, me kya hai? The same DNA in coiled and condensed form. Okay. And these two chromatid, these two chromatid are held together by a set of adhesive protein called cohesins. Set of adhesive protein called cohesin. And both and these two chromatids are held together by set of cohesin protein. And this narrow region of chromosome ka, is called centromere. Centromere is also called primary constriction. So, centromere holds the two chromatids. What do they call this? Chromatid. What do they call Chromatids. They do not chromatid ko bolta hai sister chromatid because the DNA present in this chromatid in coiled and condensed state, the same DNA is present in the other chromatid of the same chromosome. That is why ye chromatid or ye chromatid ko sister chromatid bolta hai. And these two sister chromatid are held together by the centromere with the help of this adhesive protein called cohesin. And, and centromere is also called primary constriction. 
and on both sides of the centromere you have some proteinaceous disc shaped structure called kinetochore kya bolta hai kinetochore so and kinetochore kinetochromosome get attached to spindle fiber with the help of kinetochore that means kinetochore are the sites of attachment of spindle fibers so answer will be what is the most appropriate answer for this what is the specific site what is the specific site on the chromosome where spindle fiber get attached answer is kinetochore so answer for this primary constitution centromere may directly connect nahi hua directly connect kaha hua spindle fiber kinetochore mein hua so answer most appropriate answer is kinetochore moving on to the next question is how many features given below are associated with what mitochondria acha mitochondria as you know it is called the powerhouse of the cell mitochondria is a double membrane bound organelle okay both the membranes divide the lumen of the mitochondria into two distinct aqueous chamber outer chamber also called intermembrane space and the inner compartment which is also aqueous it is called mitochondrial matrix in the mitochondrial matrix mein kya hota hai mitochondrial matrix mein single circular dna hota hai सिंगल सर्कुलर डीएनए होता है और क्या होता है डीएनए से क्या बनता है उसी डीएनए से क्या बनता है आरएनए बनता है बाय प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसक्रिप्शन और मैट्रिक्स में और क्या है सेवेंटीएस राइबोजोम है व्हिच इज प्रोग्रेटिक टाइप ऑफ राइबोजोम एंड माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर आल्सो द साइट्स ऑफ की एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन तो कितना आइटम सिलेक्ट किया मैंने सिंगल सर्कुलर क्रोमोसोम एक आरएनए दो ियोटीन तो आंसर यहां पे ऑप्शन नंबर टू में ट्यूबुल प्रोटीन एक सेंट्रियल एक सेंट्रियल कॉन्टेंस नाइन नाइन पेरीफेरल नाइन सेट्स नाइन सेट्स नाइन सेट्स ऑफ पेरीफेरल माइक्रो ट्यूबुलर ट्रिपलेट्स सो सेंट्रियल का पेरीफेरी में क्या है नाइन नाइन माइक्रो ट्यूबुलर ट्रिपलेट है एक ट्रिपलेट एक ट्रिपलेट में कितना माइक्रो ट्यूबुल है तीन कितना सा ट्रिपलेट है नाइन कहां पे है पेरीफेरी ऑफ द सेंट्रियल में सो इस पेरीफेरल मैंने ये सॉल्यूशन में लिख दिया है सब सेंट्रियल्स कॉन्टेन नाइन पेरीफेरल ट्रिपलेट्स ट्रिप एक ट्रिपलेट में कितना माइक्रो ट्यूबल तीन नाइन पेरीफेरल ट्रिपलेट्स ऑफ माइक्रो ट्यूबुल्स माइक्रो ट्यूबुल आर कंपोज ऑफ ट्यूबुलिन प्रोटीन इज पेरीफेरल जो ट्रिपलेट है इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज पेरीफेरल फिब्रिल ऑल्सो कॉल पेरीफेरल सो सोल्यूशन में सब मिलेगा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेक्शन बी क्वेश्चन हुई विल बी एट एनालिटिकल टाइप ए बिट लॉन्ग लैंगी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके सो बी केयरफुल अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ दिस फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू अटेम ओनली टेन आउट ऑफ डेम सो बी केयरफुल वाइल सिलेक्टिंग दिस टेन क्वेश्चन बी केयरफुल चिल्ड्रेन ओके तो देखिए मेज एंड कैस्टोर ये जानना पड़ेगा पहले मेज एंड कैस्टोर आर मोनोसियस प्लेन एक मोनोसियस प्लेन कौन है एक मोनोसियस प्लेन ऐसा फ्लावरिंग प्लेन है जिसमें मेल और फीमेल फ्लावर दोनों हैं सेम प्लेन में जब मेल एंड फीमेल फ्लावर सेम प्लेन में होगा प्लेन को बोलता है मोनोसियस प्लेन सो मोनोसियस प्लेन में मेल फ्लावर में कौन सा सेक्स ऑर्गेन है मोनो मेल फ्लावर भी है फीमेल फ्लावर भी है सेम प्लेन में मेल फ्लावर में क्या है मेल फ्लावर में क्या सेक्स ऑर्गेन है स्टेमेन एंड फीमेल फ्लावर में क्या सेक्स ऑर्गन है पिस्टिल तो प्लेन में दोनों सेक्स ऑर्गन है स्टेमेन एंड पिस्टिल ओके सो प्लेन इज बाई सेक्सुअल बट एवरी फ्लावर ऑफ द प्लेन इज यूनिसेक्सुअल क्योंकि मोनोसियस प्लेन में मेल एंड फीमेल फ्लावर are present separately in the same plant in the same plant mein so monoecious plant are bisexual plant bearing both the types of bearing both male and female flowers in the same plant so our autogamy matlab kya hai autogamy is pollination occurring this is a question on sexual reproduction in flowering plant children and this is a question on pollination 
and pollination based on the source of pollen three types of pollination autogamy gitanogamy and xenogamy autogamy is pollination occurring in the same flower pollination ek flower mein hone ke liye kya hona padega flower has to be bisexual stigma and anther should lie close to each other and pollen release and stigma receptivity should what synchronize that means pol that means anther and pollen kon release karta anther that means anther and stigma should matures at the same time to monoecious plant ye dono monoecious hai so monoecious plant mein autogamy nahi hoga autogamy nahi because autogamy is pollination occurring in the same flower gitanogamy ka matlab kya hai transfer of pollen grain transfer of pollen grain from the anther of a flower to the stigma of another flower located in the same plant ओके दैट मींस पोलिनेशन ऑकरिंग बिटवीन टू फ्लावर्स ऑफ द सेम प्लांट इसको बोलता है गिटेनोगेमी और जेनोगेमी नेचर में ज्यादातर जेनोगेमी ही होता है सो so, जेनोगेमी क्या है ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोलिन ग्रेन फ्रॉम द एंथर ऑफ ए फ्लावर टू द स्टिग्मा ऑफ अनदर फ्लावर लोकेटेड इन ए सेपरेट प्लांट दैट इज कॉल्ड जेनोगेमी एंड नेचर्स फेवर जेनोगेमी ओके चिल्ड्रन देखिए ओटोगेमी क्या है सो मेज एंड कैस्टोर आर मोनोसियस प्लांट क्या होगा ओटोगेमी एंड गेटिनोगेमी इज प्रिवेंटेड बट नॉट जेनोगेमी ये आंसर नहीं होगा तो आंसर क्या होगा ओटोगेमी इज प्रिवेंटेड बट कैन नॉट यू बट गेटिनोगेमी एंड जेनोगेमी आर नॉट प्रिवेंटेड मतलब जेनोगेमी एंड गेटिनोगेमी आर प्रोमोटेड बट ओटोगेमी इज प्रिवेंटेड आंसर विल बी दिस एंड यहां पे क्या दिया ओटोगेमी एंड गेटिनोगेमी आर प्रोमोटेड दिया है ऑटोगेमी तो प्रोमोटेड नहीं है ऑटोगेमी प्रिवेंटेड है बट जेनोगेमी इज ऑल्सो जेनोगेमी इज प्रोमोटेड बट यहाँ पे जेनोगेमी प्रिवेंटेड दिया ऑटोगेमी एंड जेनोगेमी आर प्रिवेंटेड एंड नॉट गेटेनोगेमी सो आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज दोनोसियस प्लान इन मोनोसियस प्लान बोट मेल एंड फीमेल फ्लॉर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेम प्लान सो मोनोसियस प्लान ओटोगेमी इज प्रिवेंटेड बट नॉट गेटेनोगेमी एंड वाट बोट नॉट गेटेनोगेमी एंड जेनोगेमी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन फ्लावरिंग प्लान इन दिस क्वेश्चन द यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट क्या निकालने को दिया है अरेंज द फॉलोइंग टर्म्स इन द करेक्ट डेवलपमेंटल सिक्वेंस पोलेन ग्रेन स्पोर्ट हेफेजर रेंडम मेनर में दिया है यू हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट सीक्वेंस डेवलपमेंट एंड सीक्वेंस देखिए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज द स्पोरोजिनस सेल्स ड्यूरिंग माइक्रोस्पोरोजिन माइक्रोस्पोरोजिनस का मतलब है प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मिंग द माइक्रोस्पोर्स फ्रॉम माइक्रोस्पोर मर्डर सेल बाय मियोसिस प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मिंग द माइक्रोस्पोर्स बाय मियोसिस ऑफ माइक्रोस्पोर मदर सेल और पोलेन मदर सेल इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोस्पोरोजिनसिस माइक्रोस्पोरोजिनिस का स्टार्टिंग में क्या होता है स्पोरोजिनस सेल्स विच आर डिप्लॉय सेल फर्स्ट डिफरेंशिएट इनटू पोलेन मदर सेल फर्स्ट डिफरेंशिएट इनटू लार्जर सेल कॉल्ड पोलेन मदर सेल पोलेन मदर सेल डिप्लॉयड है एवरी पोलेन मदर सेल का क्या होता है म्योसिस होता है म्योसिस होके एवरी पोलेन मदर सेल से चार माइक्रोस चार हेप्लॉय सेल सेल बंद चार हेप्लॉय सेल बनता है जिसका नाम है माइक्रोस्पोर द फोर माइक्रोस्पोर्स आर हेल्ड टुगेदर इनिशियली बाय कॉमन कैलोज वाल एज ए होल इट इज कॉल्ड माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रार सो पोलेन मदर सेल का म्यूसिस होके माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रार बनता है माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रार में एक माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्रार में चार माइक्रोस्पोर है सारा सब माइक्रोस्पोर का प्लोइडी लेवल है माइक्रोस्पोर दिस माइक्रोस ये जो माइक्रोस्पोर है माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्राट में अल्टीमेटली वो लोग सेपरेट हो जाता है सेपरेट होने के बाद द माइक्रोस्पोर डेवलप इन टू पोलेन ग्रेन बाय फॉर्मिंग द एग्जाइन एंड इंटाइन सो माइक्रोस्पोर टेट्राट से के बाद क्या बनेगा पोलेन ग्रेन पोलेन ग्रेन और हेप्लॉयड एंड पोलेन ग्रेन का भीतर क्या बनेगा मेल गेमेट बनेगा सो द करेक्ट डेवलपमेंटल सिक्वेंस विल बी स्पोरोजिनस टिश्यू उसके बाद That differentiate into PMC means pollen mother cell. Pollen mother cell undergoes meiosis and forms microspore tetrad. Microspore of microspore tetrad develop into pollen grain. Pollen grain will form what gametes. Pollen grain form pollen grain is haploid. Pollen grain forms gametes, male gametes, male gametes by mitosis. So answer for this particular question will be option number two. Yeah, yeah, these are. Um, uh, wrong okay 
these are wrong statements this is the correct state sequence so answer is option number 2 yaha pe maine sab likh diya hai sporozina cell first defines a pollen mother cell then each pollen undergoes meiosis to form this and this so you just go through these things solutions acha consider the following statements a pleiotropic gene produces multiple phenotypic effect in an individual true or false can you name a human disease which is due to pleiotropic gene example classic example is sickle cell anemia and phenylketonuria sickle cell anemia come sickle cell gene sickle cell anemia is due to autosomal recessive gene autosomal recessive gene always produce effect in homozygous condition in both males and what female sickle cell sickle cell anemia may the major effect is what substitution of the sixth amino acid called glutamic acid substitution of the sixth amino acid called glutamic acid by valine by another amino acid called what valine that means substitution of an amino acid at the sixth position of beta globin chain of hemoglobin by valine by amino acid called what valine this is the major effect other effect of sickle cell anemia is blood flow to the major due to the, the rbc become sickle cell and sickle cell cells rbc ka normal shape kya hai RBC आर बी सी का नॉर्मल सेप क्या है नॉर्मल बाइकॉन के एंड दिज आर बी सी इन सिकल सेल एनिमिया दिस आर बी सी बिकम एंगुलर सेल्स दे बिकम सिकल सेप दिस आर बी सी बिकम सिकल सेप बिकम एंगुलर एंड द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन बिकम्स रिजिड लूजेज इज फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी एंड बिकम्स वाट रिजिड एंड एंड दिस प्लाज्मा एंड दिज एंगुलर सेल्स कॉल सिकल सेप सेल्स ब्लॉक्स blocks blood flow to the vital organs resulting in tissue death plus these rbcs life span is very short this sickle cell rbc ka life span short hai kitna hai life span 10 to only what 20 days mein tut jata hai lekin normal rbc ka life span kitna hai normal human mein 120 days so sickle cell rbc ka life span kitna hai 10 to maximum 20 days so rbc destroy hota hai mainly spleen mein so spleen zyada kaam karna padta hai isliye spleen enlargement hota hai splenomegaly blood flow in sickle cell anemia also blood flow to the vital organs are also affected are blocked so affected so ultimately person become anemic so ultimately producing multiple effect so so multiple alleles so dekhiye multiple uh, pleiotropic gene produce multiple phenotypic effect in an individual this is true this is true okay multiple alleles suppose multiple suppose mul can you give one example of a human character can you name a character in humans which is controlled by multiple the human abo blood grouping character controlled by gene i that i gene has three forms molecular forms ia ib and i the effect of the expression of ia ia ka product kya hai antigen a product of ib is antigen b product of ia is no antigen no antigen at all and this is a relationship ia is equal to ib both are completely dominant over i that means ia and ib are codominant both ia and ib are completely dominant over i i is the recessive so these genes produce the same phenotypic effect na different phenotypic effect. answer should be different phenotypic effect. lekin yahan pe kya likha multiple alleles exhibit the same phenotypic expression wrong so this is false this is false in a polygenic trait the phenotype reflects the contribution of each allele that means in polygenic inheritance polygenic inheritance is is when a character is control is controlled by quantitative effect when a character is when a character is controlled by quantitative effect of more than one pair of gene mendel ne kya propose kiya mendel ne propose hoy a character is controlled by one pair of gene each character is controlled by one pair of alleles or one pair of genes or one pair of factors okay but polygenic inheritance kya hai when a character is controlled by more than 
quantitatively when a character is controlled by control quantitatively quantity additively quantitatively controlled by more than one pair of genes that inheritance is called polygenic inheritance and is polygenic inheritance shows quantitative effect mane additive effect that means that means effect of each gene is additive to the character so in polygenic trait the phenotype reflects the contribution of each allele can you give one example of polygenic inheritance a human skin color so this is true or false this is true polygenic inheritance also takes into account the influence of the what environment this is also true so answer for this particular question which of the following statements are correct a c and d a c and d are correct okay b is incorrect why because multiple allelees exhibit different phenotypic expression or same different hona chahiye is same diya hai so moving on to the next question now look at this question this is a question on molecular basis of inheritance chapter acha related to the number of phosphodiester bonds and glycosidic bonds dekhiye aap log to padha hai ki नाम टोटल नंबर ऑफ फॉस्फोडाइस्टर बॉन्ड्स इन ए पॉलीन्यूक्लियोटाइड चेन ऑफ ए लिनियर डबल स्ट्रेंडेड डीएनए इज इक्वल टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स माइनस वन सो मैं यहां पे लिख के देता हूं थोड़ा फॉर फॉर ए लिनियर डबल स्ट्रेंडेड डीएनए DNA total number total number of phospho di ester bonds in one strand in one strand strand ka matlab polynuclear one strand means one polynuclear chain linear double stranded DNA means consist of two two polynucleotide chain which are linear of the total number of phosphodiester bond in one strand one strand mane one polynucleotide chain of the dna will be will be will be total total will be total number will be total number of nucleo types in the only nucleo type chain polynuclear chain means strand ek polynucleotide chain ko bolta hai ek strand bolta hai in the polynucleotide chain total number of nucleotides in the polynuclear total number every nucleo nucleotide may teen component hai ek nitrogenous base hai which is covalently linked to pentose sugar ek nitrogenous base which is covalently linked to pentose sugar pentose sugar is linked to a phosphate okay jitna hi sara base hoga utna hi sara nucleotide hoga so total number of phosphodiester bond in one polynucleotide chain or one strand of the dna will be total number of nucleotides or total number of bases in the polynucleotide chain minus 1 so double stranded dna mein polynuc aisa polynucleotide chain kaisa hai kitna hai do hai so if you are asked if the main agar aap logo ko puchta hu if the what will be the total number of phosphodiester bond in a double stranded linear dna linear dna consisting of a total of 200 nucleotides pura linear double stranded dna mein 200 nucleotide hai so total number of phosphodiester bonds kitna hoga in the whole dna 200 nucleotide hai nucleotide hai pura dna mein ek polynuclear chain mein kitna dna ho kitna nucleotide hoga 100 opposite polynuclear chain mein kitna hoga 100 
ओके सो वन पोलिन्यूक्लियोटाइड चेन एक पोलिन्यूक्लियोटाइड उसी डीएनए का एक पोलिन्यूक्लियोटाइड चेन में टोटल नंबर ऑफ फॉस्फोटेस्टर बॉन्ड कितना होगा हंड्रेड माइनस वन ऑपोजिट पोलिन्यूक्लियोटाइड चेन में कितना फॉस्फोटेस्टर बॉन्ड होगा हंड्रेड माइनस वन माने नाइनटी नाइन तो माने नाइनटी नाइन अंडरस्टूड सो यहां लेकिन सर्कुलर डीएनए सर्कुलर डीएनए हेलो चिल्ड्रन सर्कुलर डीएनए देखिए सर्कुलर डीएनए इज क्लोज डीएनए ना ओपन विथ फ्री एंड्स ये सर्कुलर डीएनए है सो सर्कुलर डीएनए में ये माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू का मामला नहीं आएगा सो सर्कुलर डीएनए में पूरा डीएनए में जितना सारा न्यूक्लियोटाइड और बेस होगा उतना ही फॉस्पोडाइस्टर बॉन्ड होगा तो सर्कुलर लिनियर अच्छा देखिए ऑप्शन नंबर वन देखिए 4.6 पहला जानना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो एसआरएसिया कोलाई मींस शॉर्ट में लिखता है ई कोलाई ई कोलाई डीएनए इज सर्कुलर व्हाई सर्कुलर बिकॉज़ ई कोलाई इज प्रोक्रियोट बिकॉज़ डीएनए ऑफ प्रोक्रियोट और द जेनोमिक डीएनए ऑफ प्रोक्रियोट इज सर्कुलर डबल स्टैंडर्ड ओके ई कोलाई का डीएनए में कितना टोटल बेसिस है द साइंटिस्ट हैव फाउंड द ई कोलाई डीएनए E. coli DNA is circular double stranded hai. This is circular double stranded DNA hai. Kitna total um, nucleotides ya bases hai. Scientists have found 4.6 into 10 to the power 6 base pair hai. Kitna base pair hai? Ek base pair mein kitna bases hai? Do hai. So, E. coli DNA में total base pairs कितना मिला scientists को 4.6 into 10 to the power 6 base pair. Total number of bases कितना होगा? Number of bases in E. coli DNA कितना होगा? Number of bases कितना होगा? 4.6 माने इसका double होगा, double होगा तो कितना? इसका double होगा तो कितना होगा? 9 9 9.2 into 10 to the power 6 bases jitna hi sara base hoga utna hi utna hi nucleotides hoga so e coli dna mein total bases ya nucleotide kitna hai 9.2 into 10 to the power 6 bases or nucleotides or nucleotides okay since it is circular dna free end nahi hai to kya hoga 9.2 into 10 to the power 6 ही होगा। तो so number of phosphodiester bond circular DNA में E. coli का DNA में कितना होगा? 9. Point, ये जो ऑप्शन है, 9.2 into 10 to the power 6 minus 2 ये आंसर होता अगर DNA circular double stranded होता। अगर E. coli का DNA circular double stranded होता, ये आंसर होता है for number of phosphodiester bond और सर्कुलर डीएनए हो या लीनियर डीएनए हो टोटल नंबर ऑफ एन ग्लाइकोसाइडिक बॉन्ड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बेसेस इन द होल डीएनए तो ये ठीक है लेकिन इसके लिए आंसर नहीं है ये ये किसके लिए है इट इज दिस विल बी द आंसर इफ द डीएनए ऑफ ई कोला इज सर्कुलर इफ द डीएनए ऑफ ई कोला इज लीनियर डबल स्टैंडर्ड लेकिन ई कोला का डीएनए कैसा है सर्कुलर डबल स्टैंडर्ड इसलिए सर्कुलर डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए में टोटल नंबर ऑफ फॉस्फोडाइस्टर बॉन्ड इज इक्वल टू ऑलवेज टोटल नंबर ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स इन द होल डीएनए सो आंसर होगा ये ये नंबर ऑफ फॉस्फोडाइस्टर बॉन्ड ये है करेक्ट और एन ग्लाइकोसाइडिक बॉन्ड ये है तो आंसर होगा ऑप्शन नंबर 3 अगर आप लोगों का कोई डाउट होगा इस क्वेश्चन में, I will explain. You come for doubt clearing classes in our institute for detailed discussion of this topic. Okay, since this is there is a time constraint here, so I have written here the DNA of E. coli circular and double stranded and contains 4 into 10 to the power 6 base pair. So the total number of nucleotides in the whole DNA will be 9.2 into 2. Since it is a circular double stranded DNA, total number of phosphodiester bonds will be 9.2 into 10 to the power 6. And total number of N-glycosidic bonds will also be 9.2 into 10 to the power 6. Next question. Region assertion question. On molecular basis of inheritance. The DNA strand of a structural gene that has a polarity of 3 prime to 5 prime always act as a template strand for rna synthesis reason there hai dna dependent dna polymerase synthesize rna molecules 
by catalyzing polymerization of ribonucleotides polymerization means polymerization of ribonuclei only in in only 5 prime to 3 prime direction so transcription me transcription me dna ka jo segments hota hai bolta hai the the dna segments involved in transcription are called transcription units ek dna me hundreds to thousands of transcription unit hai एक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन यूनिट एज यू नो एक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन यूनिट में मेनली डिफाइन बाय थ्री पार्ट्स प्रोमोटर इसका नाम है इसका नाम है स्ट्रक्चरल जीन और ये नाम है इसका नाम है टर्मिनेटर इसका पोलैरिटी ये डीएनए स्ट्रैंड का पोलैरिटी सपोज 3 प्राइम टू 5 प्राइम ओपोजिट डीएनए का पोलैरिटी क्या होगा एंटी पैरेलल होगा 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम ओके विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन यूनिट this is called the this will act as the template strand and this is called the coding strand and this point is called trans jahan se transcription shuru hota hai transcription start site bolta hai theek hai so this is a transcription unit ek transcription unit ka teen main teen main region hai promoter promoter structural gene and terminator promoter is promoter is that region of transcription unit to which enzyme rna polymerase binds which enzyme binds to the um, promoter of transcription unit rna pol rna pol rna polymerase rna polymerase enzyme synthesizes rna by causing polymerization of what ribonucleotides always in 5 prime to what 3 prime direction the molecular structure of rna polymerase enzyme is such that it catalyzes the polymerization of ribonucleotides to form rna only in 5 prime to 3 prime direction using a dna template rna rna polymerase ko rna banane mein ek dna template ki zarurat hota hai and as you know from watson and crick model that two nucleic acid strand should have anti parallel polarity and rna polymerase enzyme first binds to promoter and start transcribing the rna in 5 prime to what 3 prime direction that means towards the terminator and it moves towards the terminator this is suppose a rna called mrna mrna ka polarity kya likha 5 prime to 3 prime direction ye mrna copy kahan se kiya from this dna strand of this structural gene of this transcription unit ye dna strand ka जो पोलैरिटी होगा एंटी पैरेलल होना पड़ेगा एमआरएनए एंड दिस डीएनए स्ट्रेन का एंड दे शुड बी एंटी पैरेलल एमआरएनए एमआरएनए का पोलैरिटी ऑलवेज 5 प्राइम टू की 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम 3 एमआरएनए का पोलैरिटी ऑलवेज 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम बिकॉज़ एमआरएनए बनाता है कौन आरएनए पॉलीमराइज एंजाइम आरएनए पॉलीमराइज का मॉलिक्यूलर स्ट्रक्चर और मॉलिक्यूलर स्ट्रक्चर ऐसा है कि इट कैन पॉलीमराइज एमआरएनए इट कैन पॉलीमराइज राइबोन्यूक्लियोटाइड टू फॉर्म एमआरएनए ऑलवेज इन 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम डायरेक्शन यूजिंग ए टेम्पलेट डीएनए स्ट्रेन और टेम्पलेट डीएनए के स्ट्रेन स्ट्रेन का जो पोलैरिटी होगा ओपोजिट केमिकल पोलैरिटी होगा मतलब एमआरएनए एंड दिस टेम्पलेट एमआरएनए एंड दिस डीएनए स्ट्रेन शुड बी एंटी पैरेलल अगर एमआरएनए का पोलैरिटी है 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम टेम्पलेट ये डीएनए स्ट्रेन का पोलैरिटी क्या होगा 3 प्राइम टू 5 प्राइम सो दिस पर्टिकुलर डीएनए स्ट्रेन फ्रॉम व्हिच एमआरएनए इज कॉपीड ऑलवेज हैज अ पोलैरिटी ऑफ 3 प्राइम टू व्हाट 5 प्राइम ओके बिकॉज़ एमआरएनए इज ऑलवेज सिंथेसाइज्ड बाय आरएनए पॉलीमराइज इन व्हाट पोलर विद व्हाट पोलैरिटी 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम एंड टू न्यूक्लिक एसिड स्ट्रेन शुड हैव एंटी पैरेलल पोलैरिटी इसलिए रीजन रीजन में क्या दिया डीएनए डिपेंडेंट आरएनए पॉली कैटालाइजेस द सिंथेसिस ऑफ आरएनए बाय कैटालाइजिंग पॉलीमराइजेशन ओनली इन व्हाट 5 प्राइम टू 3 प्राइम दिस इज द रीजन फॉर दिस सो द डीएनए स्ट्रेन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज अ पोलैरिटी फ्री प्राइम ऑलवेज एक्सेट्रा सो आंसर क्या होगा बोथ रीजन एंड एसर्शन आर ट्रू एंड रीजन इज आल्सो द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर व्हाट एसर्शन so answer will be answer will be option number 2 option number 2 okay yahan pe maine solution de diya bahut badhiya se solution diya using a template strain as a template to synthesize rna as we know two nucleic acid strain should have anti parallel polarity so the dna strain of the structural gene of a transcription unit that has a polarity of 3 prime to 5 prime will always act as a what template strain for rna synthesis next question what why does the growth rate of a population 
shows logistic model in following the logistic model equals zero when does when does when does equal zero the there are two types of population growth growth two types of population growth model has been proposed one is called exponential growth the other one is called logistic growth and which population growth model is realistic the logistic growth because why because but so because resources in the environment are unlimited or limited the resources in the environment the resources in the ecosystem are always always limited and resources in ecologically resources matlab food and space food and space since resources are limited in the environment the logistic growth model has been has been considered as the more realistic growth model population growth model and the logistic growth model is is given by the equation given by the following equation dn by dt that means rate of change of population dn by dt means rate of change of population is equal to r into n r into r r sorry um, rate of change of population that is r into r into n multiplied by an expression that is n k minus n divided by k or, or, or you can also write as r into n 1 minus n by 1 k you can write like this also okay what is k k is the carrying capacity of a habitat n is the population size population size ka dusra naam hai population density r is called the intrinsic rate of what natural increase that is per capita rate of increase maximum per capita rate of increase ko bolta hai intrinsic rate of natural increase bolta hai as you have learned in your classes so uh, intrinsic rate of natural increase is represented by r k is carrying capacity of the habitat n is the population population size at time t population size or population density at any given time that is represented by t population density at time t suppose in a particular habitat carrying capacity of habitat means max carrying capacity means carrying capacity of habitat means maximum population size that a habitat can support through its available resources over a long period of time for a partic for for a particular species is called carrying capacity of that habitat for that particular species so suppose in a habitat carrying capacity suppose in a habitat carrying capacity for a bird species is is what thousand birds kitna birds thousand birds so in again i am repeating suppose in a habitat carrying capacity for birds in a particular in that habitat is maximum thousand bird thousand bird se zyada bird usse zyada bird accommodate nahi kar pata hai wo habitat suppose at a particular point of time suppose k ka value ho gaya suppose 700 at a part at time t suppose at time at time t at time t at suppose at time t suppose 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 k equal to 700 then how will you put dn by dt dn by dt equal to r r is constant huh? r r into n multiplied by k k kitna hai suppose thousand k kitna diya hai thousand minus after time t man at, at a particular time t kitna hua bad ka population size population size kitna hua 700 divided by kya k k kitna man k k kitna laga ya 1000 so kitna ho gaya iska value kitna hoga 300 by kya 1000 so k minus n divided by k kya hai k minus n divided by k is the abhi kitna hua abhi time t mein kitna hua 
अभी टाइम टी में सेवन हंड्रेड बाट हुआ लेकिन मैक्सिमम बाट कितना एकोमोडेट कर पाता है वो हैबिटेट वन थाउजेंड लेकिन अभी कितना है सेवन हंड्रेड तो मतलब के माइनस एन डिवाइडेड बाय के एट ए पार्टिकुलर टाइम टी मींस इट इज द फ्रैक्शन ऑफ के हेलो चिल्ड्रन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ के दैट इज सेवन हंड्रेड बाई वन थाउजेंड माने की थ्री हंड्रेड बाई वन थाउजेंड यह क्या होगा थ्री हंड्रेड बाई वन थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स इट इज द फ्रैक्स के माइनस एन डिवाइडेड बाई के मतलब फ्रैक्शन ऑफ के स्टिल एवेलेबल फॉर पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ मतलब और कितना बार्ट एकोमोडेट कर पाएंगे थ्री हंड्रेड बार्ट ठीक है सो सो अगर आफ्टर ए पार्टिकुलर टाइम टी बार्ट का पॉपुलेशन बार्ट का सपोज पॉपुलेशन बार्ट का पॉपुलेशन हो गया वन थाउजेंड 1000 तो कितना होगा जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय 1000 मतलब जीरो मतलब क्या ग्रेट रेट ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन विल बी जीरो और नॉट ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन विल बी व्हाट जीरो सो ग्रेट ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन विल बी जीरो व्हेन व्हेन व्हाट विल हैपन व्हेन 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 एन इक्वल टू के यार ये क्या है ये क्या है ये क्या है एन एन मींस पॉपुलेशन साइज और पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी ये क्या है के और ये क्या है k सो व्हेन n इक्वल टू k देयर विल बी जीरो पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ रेट ना मैक्सिमम जीरो जीरो पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ रेट तो मतलब यहां पे मैं n बाई के कितना है इस एग्जांपल में n बाई के कितना है वन n बाई के कितना है n बाई के यहां पे क्या है वन यस सो आंसर क्या होगा द लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ मॉडल इज गिवेन When the debt rate is greater than birth rate, no. When n by k exactly equal to what one, n by k exactly equal to one, or you can write n equal to k. K. When n equal to k, n by k will be one. So ये answer होगा. When n nears k, carrying capacity कितना है? One thousand इस example में. When n nears Carrying capacity of the habitat. Near होने में zero population growth नहीं होगा ना? Near होने से zero population. So यह ही n nears or equal. Nears means equal or not equal. Not in. nears means not equal. When n equal to k होना पड़ेगा तब n by k equal to one होगा. तो इसलिए ये फिर n nears गया है. इसलिए hello children इसलिए ये nears गया है. इसलिए ये answer नहीं है. When n By k equals k zero. So answer is n by k equal to what one. And logistic growth is represented by hello logistic growth curve is yah pe population density represented by n population size of density along the y axis. And along the x axis we put time time. Okay. Okay. And initial growth rate is lag phase, then log phase, then phase of डिसिलरेशन देन ए सिमटोन ऐसा ही कार्व होगा तो ये है देखिए ये है ये पॉइंट का नाम है के 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 मीन्स केयरिंग कैपेसिटी सो ये एस सेफ कार्व होगा मेरा कार्व थोड़ा अच्छा नहीं हुआ देखिए ये ये सो सो ओके वी हैव डिस्कस दिस थिंग्स इन द क्लास सो एस सेफ कार्व मीन्स सिग्मोइड कार फॉर लॉजिस्टिक पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ We what type of growth curve we have? Sigmoid curve or Z-shaped curve? Sigmoid curve, which is which has which has the following phases. Initial phase is called lag phase, means uh, slow growth. Then exponential growth means phase of acceleration. Then phase of deceleration. Then population growth rate, growth rate when it becomes zero, it is called asymptote. It is called asymptote. Next. This is I have given where n is equal to k. Growth rate of the population or a species will become zero only when n equal to k or n by k equal to one. Acha. Next is maths. This is a question on plant physiology on the chapter called plant growth and development. List one and list two. Oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen is are what compounds? They are indole compounds. Oxygen are what compound? They are oxygen are indole compounds. Zebralins are terpenes. Cytokines are derivative of adenine of nucleic acid. Which nucleic acid? Acha. Then ethylene is the vol only volatile plant growth regulator. Plant growth regulator also called plant hormone. Why it is volatile? Because it is gaseous in nature. So answer kya hoga? 
ए टू बी बी वन सी फोर डी थ्री सो आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन वन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन वन एन लिख दिया सॉल्यूशन में नेक्स्ट व्हिच ऑफ द प्लेन ग्रोथ रेगुलेटर इज एंटागोनिस्टिक टू ऑक्सीजन इन एपिगल डोमिनेंस एपिगल डोमिनेंस मतलब क्या है बच्चों एपिगल डोमिनेंस मतलब क्या है कि इनहिबिशन ऑफ द ग्रोथ ऑफ लेटरल बाद लेटरल बाद का दूसरा नाम है एक्सिलरी बाद जब लेटरल ब्रात का ग्रोथ इनिबिट करता है बाय द ऑक्सीन सिंथेसाइज एट द शूट टीप ऑफ एपिकल बाद ये फेनामेनन को बोलता है एपिकल डोमिनेंस सो एपिकल डोमिनेंस इज ड्यू टू ऑक्सीन प्रोड्यूस्ड इन एपिकल बाद दैट सप्रेसेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ द लेटरल बाद दैट इज कॉल्ड एपिकल डोमिनेंस एपिकल डोमिनेंस को काउंटर एक कर सकता है एक हार्मोन जिसका नाम है साइटोकाइनिन सो सो व्हिच हार्मोन इज is antagonistic means dusmon with respect to what character with respect to all all effect now with respect to epical dominance with respect to epical dominance answer is cytokinin cytokinin is antagonistic to epical dominance the phenomenon of inhibition of growth of the lateral buds that is axillary bud by auxin synthesized by the shoot tip of epical bud is called epical dominance next question The, this is a question on photosynthesis chapter. Photosynthesis higher plants. Yeah, for light reaction of photosynthesis, there is a special enzyme involved. What is its name? NADP reductase. NADP reductase is involved only in light reaction of photosynthesis. NADP reductase enzyme reduces. NADP reductase enzyme. This enzyme. This enzyme. This en. This sorry. This enzyme. This enzyme. This enzyme reduces, reduces NADP plus to NADPH plus H plus during light reaction of photosynthesis. This enzyme का location कहाँ है? This enzyme is located on the outer side of granite hyaluronic membrane. Outer side of granite hyaluronic membrane means stroma side of the granite hyaluronic membrane. So this is given. So this is correct. Okay. Associated. Look, NADP reductase enzyme is involved in light reaction of photosynthesis. Light reaction of photosynthesis का दूसरा नाम है non-cyclic photophosphorylation. और एक दूसरा नाम है लाइट रिएक्शन का जिसका नाम है फोटोकेमिकल फेज ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस सो एसोसिएटेड विद नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन ये भी करेक्ट है एसोसिएटेड विद पीएस2 नो इट इज नॉट एसोसिएटेड विद पीएस2 इट इज इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद पीएस1 थ्रू द ईटीएस सो सो दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट so answer for what are the correct statements so answer is statement 1 and statement 2 statement 1 and statement 2 so uh, option kya tha 1 theek hai yahan pe option 2 okay so in the light reaction in uh, that is involved in non cyclic photophosphorylation then next question which one of the following statement which one is not a correct statement The enzyme. This is a question on mineral nutrition chapter, and the topic is this question is devoted to um, rhizobium legume association. The enzyme nitrogenase, as you know, it fixes atmospheric nitrogen. Uh, atmospheric nitrogen. The enzyme nitrogenase is found in all nitrogen fixing organism. Okay. Nitrogen fixing organism two groups are there: some bacteria and some cyanobacteria. In this is a question. Question that ke pata chalna chahiye ki this is a question related to rhizobium legume symbiosis. Okay, the enzyme nitrogenase is very sensitive to molecular oxygen. This is true. This is what, as you know, I have discussed this in the class also nicely. True. Acha. A mature nodule. form by rhizobium legume interactions a multiple interaction occurs to form the nodules in the host plant that is legume multiple interaction between kiska kiske sath hota hai kiske beech mein hota hai rhizobium and legume ke beech mein hoke 
some swellings are formed in the root of legume these are called root nodules ye root nodule cell mein ultimately rhizobium reside karta hai so mature nodule formed by rhizobium is ultimately provided with vascular tissues and these vascular tissues are continuous with those of the host root that is legume root for exchange of nutrients so ye bhi true hai acha leg hemoglobin is dekhiye jab rhizobium लेग्यूम रूट में घुस जाता है तब एक स्पेशल मॉलिक्यूल बनता है विच इज पिंकी सीन कलर और रेडी सीन कलर कॉल लेग्यूमिनस हिमोग्लोबिन आल्सो कॉल लेग हिमोग्लोबिन लेग हिमोग्लोबिन द ऑक्सीजन एफिनिटी साइंटिस्ट को साइंटिस्ट को पता लग गया कि लेग हिमोग्लोबिन है टेन टाइम्स the oxygen affinity of leg hemoglobin has been found to be 10 times more than our hemoglobin so it is it binds to leg hemoglobin leg hemoglobin binds to oxygen leg hemoglobin binds to oxygen and do not allow this oxygen to enter into the rhizobium cells in the root nodule cells of the legume thus compelling rhizobium to perform anaerobic respiration and making the enzyme nitrogen is happy to fix atmospheric nitrogen to form ammonia from ammonia the ultimate rhizobium makes amino acids okay so leg hemoglobin protects the nitrogenase of rhizobium from oxygen poisoning correct okay so if you are asked in the exam a simple question what is the name of the oxygen scavenger found in the root nodule cells of leguminous plants the answer will be leg hemoglobin so this is all. the atp nitrogen fixation is a highly energy expensive process okay nitrogen fixation by rhizobium is a highly energy expensive process the energy source is atp so atp during nitrogen fixation events in legume plants by rhizobium the atp energy of nitrogen atp energy for nitrogen fixation by rhizobium it comes from re aerobic respiration of host cells not from respiration of rhizobium so yaha pe kya diya atp energy for nitrogen is nitrogen fixation by nitrogen is obtained from respiration of kya diya respiration of rhizobium ye wrong hai isliye ye galat hai to ye false hai so overall answer kya hoga इन नॉट ए करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नॉट ए करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट होगा ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ऑप्शन नंबर फोर नॉट फ्रॉम रेस्पिरेशन ऑफ राइज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ड्यूटेरोमाइसिडीज आर कॉल इनपरफेक्ट फंगी एंड सेक्सुअल स्टेज ऑफ द फंगीर डिज देखिए मैं देखिए ड्यूटेरोमाइसिटीज आर ए ग्रुप ऑफ फंगी हुई आर नोन टू reproduce only by asexual means by means of spore called conidia and vegetative reproduction by fragmentation is also common and asexual or vegetative phase of a fungi is called imperfect stage and sexual stage of fungi is called perfect stage jo fungi abhi bhi deuteromycetes mein hai uska sexual stage abhi tak nahi mila hai एंड क्या जानकारी है ड्यूटेरोमाइटिस में जो फंगी अभी अभी तक ड्यूटेरोमाइटिस में ओनली दे आर एसेक्सुअल स्टेज और विजिटेड स्टेज इज ओनली नोन सेक्सुअल स्टेज नॉट नोन ओनली एसेक्सुअल स्टेज कॉल इम्परफेक्ट स्टेज इज नोन दैट इज वाई दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल इम्परफेक्ट फंगी सो क्या होगा तो ओनली एसेक्सुअल और विजिटेड स्टेज ऑफ दिस फंगी आर नोन एंड देर सेक्सुअल स्टेज इज एफसेन सो बोट एसारसोन एंड रीजन आर टू and reason, uh, sorry uh, this is not the answer uh, uh, both assertion and reason are true and reason is also the correct explanation for assertion okay next is next question yahan pe sab likh diya maine options mein next question is arrange the following events of meiosis in correct sequence in meiosis during prophase 1 of meiosis one first event that occurs is compaction of chromosomal material or compaction of chromosome compaction of chromosomal material to form the liptotin chromosome that first is liptotin lekin liptotin ke baad jo next stage aata hai waha iska naam hai zygotin zygotin mein physical pairing of homologous chromosomes occurs this process ko bolta hai synapsis ye first hoga ye first 
this will be the first event with respect to the option supply with respect to the item supply yahan ka first event jo hoga meiosis mein kya hoga synapsis synapsis kahan hota hai zygotin mein hota hai zygotin of prophase 1 of meiosis 1 acha crossing over kab hota hai pekaitin mein zygotin ke baad kaun sa phase hai pekaitin mein pekaitin ka most important event kaun hai crossing over between genes of non sister chromatid of homologous chromosomes okay leading to recombination of link genes to so, uska pekaitin stage zygotin ke baad pekaitin pekaitin ke baad kya hota hai diplotin diplotin ka kuch event yahan pe diya hua hai ha diya hai to dissolution of the what synaptinomal complex occurs at what diplotin then then diplotin ke baad kaun sa event hai prophase 1 ka diplotin dekhiye prophase 1 ka first phase hai liptotin uske baad zygotin uske baad pekaitin uske baad diplotin uske baad diakinesis diplotin ke baad kaun aayega diakinesis diakinesis ka major event kya hai terminalization of chiasmata so ye hoga aapka dia kiske liye hoga diakinesis diakinesis okay then the next is in diakinesis ke baad kya hoga prophase 1 khatam prophase 1 ke baad kya aayega metaphase 1 metaphase 1 mein kya hoga bivalent chromosome align align at the equatorial plate or equatorial region or align the bivalent chromosome align at the spindle equator so metaphase test ke liye koi bhi item nahi hai yahan pe lekin anaphase वन के लिए मेटाफेज वन के लिए कोई आइटम नहीं है यहां पे लेकिन एनाफेज वन के लिए एक आइटम है कौन सा आइटम है डिसजंक्शन ऑफ क्रोमोसोम तो ये कौन कहां कब होता है मियोसिस में कब होता है एनाफेज वन या एनाफेज टू एनाफेज वन में डिसजंक्शन ऑफ क्रोमोसोम का मतलब क्या है सेपरेशन ऑफ होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम टू द ऑपोजिट पोल्स ऑफ द सेल ड्यू टू द शॉर्टेनिंग ऑफ स्पिंडल फाइबर्स ओके और स्पिंडल फाइबर क्या है माइक्रो ड्यू टू द शॉर्टेनिंग ऑफ माइक्रो डिबल्स और शॉर्टेनिंग ऑफ स्पिंडल फाइबर द होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम्स सेग्रीगेट टू द ऑपोजिट पोल्स ऑफ द सेल एट एनाफेज स्टेज एन सेपरेशन ऑफ होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम टू द ऑपोजिट पोल्स ऑफ द सेल इज कॉल्ड डिसजंक्शन ऑफ होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम तो क्या होगा फर्स्ट आइटम कौन है सी देन बी देन कौन सा होगा जाइगोटिन C, B, then E, then A, then D. So answer will be option number four. C, B, E, C मतलब zygotin, B मतलब pekaitin, E मतलब E का event जो दिया है यहाँ पे E E E means dissolution of the sign of diplotin. then diakinesis then uske baad disjunction of chromosome so yahan pe diya hai option number 4 theek hai ye ek bar fir se dekhiye theek hai okay next is next is if the number of chromosome and amount of dna in a gamete is 20 picogram acha aap log ye yaad rakhiye ek dekhiye children अगर गैमेट में जितना क्रोमोज अमाउंट ऑफ डीएनए है उसी ऑर्गेनिज्म का मियोसाइट का प्रोफेज वन में मेटाफेज वन में टेलोफेज वन में टेलोफेज वन में एंड ड्यूरिंग साइटोकाइनिसिस ऑफ मियोसिस वन ड्यूरिंग साइटोकाइनिस ऑफ मियोसिस वन अमाउंट ऑफ डीएनए विल बी फोर टाइम्स अमाउंट ऑफ डीएनए विल बी फोर टाइम्स Compared to the amount of DNA in the gamete, gamete में कितना दिया है? 10 picogram. So amount of DNA in the meiosite at prophase one होगा, उस इसका four times, मतलब 40 picogram होगा. और number of chromosome gamete में कितना दिया है? 40. Meiosite में prophase one में होगा, वो 20 का double होगा. तो कितना होगा? 40. So answer for this particular question will be 40 and 40 will if any students have any doubt regarding this question if you want the details details of the solution for this particular question you come over and meet me 
टुमोरो और डे आफ्टर टुमोरो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल्स ठीक है पूरा क्लियर पिक्चर दे दूंगा यहां पे मैंने लिख दिया सॉल्यूशन शॉर्ट इन वेरी ब्रीफली नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स इन ए गैमेट इज ऑलवेज हाफ द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम प्रेजेंट इन द मियोसाइट गुड प्रेजेंट इन द मियोसाइट क्योंकि मियोसाइट अंडरगोस मियोसिस 1 एंड फॉर्म्स टू हैप्लॉइड डॉटर सेल द टू हैप्लॉइड डॉटर सेल अंडरगोस मियोसिस 2 आफ्टर अ शॉर्ट लिव रेस्टिंग पीरियड कॉल इंटरकाइनेसिस अच्छा but the amount of dna in a gamete is four times less four times less than the amount of dna in the myocyte during meiosis one okay next question the question number 149 arrange the following events pichla ek question mila tha meiosis ka events ke leke in to arrange in proper sequence ये क्वेश्चन है रिलेटेड टू क्या माइटोसिस टू अरेंज दिस इवेंट्स इन करेक्ट सीक्वेंस अच्छा देखिए क्रोमोसोम मटेरियल कंडेंसेस क्रोमोसोम मटेरियल का दूसरा नाम है क्रोमेटिन क्रोमेटिन क्या है आप लोग तो पढ़ा है तो क्रोमेटिन इज ए इंटरवाइन इलैबोरेट मास ऑफ डी लीनियर डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए एसोसिएटेड विथ टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन हिस्टोन्स एंड नॉन हिस्टोन प्रोटीन्स अलोंग विथ सम फॉर्मिंग आरएनए ओके हिस्टोन्स एंड नॉन हिस्टोन्स आर प्रोटीन एसोसिएटेड विथ डीएनए डीएनए न्यूक्लिक एसिड डीएनए प्लस प्रोटीन ये फाइबर का नाम क्या है न्यूक्लियो प्रोटीन फाइबर सो क्रोमेटिन इज अ मास ऑफ एंटेंगल इंटरवाइन इलैबोरेट मास ऑफ न्यूक्लियो प्रोटीन फाइबर्स this dna of the chromatin in prophase of mitosis are coiled and condensed to form discrete thick structures called chromosomes chromosomes pehle banta hai prophase mein and chromosomes are first seen at late prophase chromosomes are clearly visible at metaphase chromosomes are shorter thicker and most condensed at metaphase but chromosome pehle banta hai prophase mein kaun sa stage of prophase mein chromosome pehle visible hota hai late prophase chromosomal material matlab chromatin chromosomal material ka dusra naam kya hai chromosomal material chromosomal material ka dusra naam hai chromatin chromatin ka chemical composition kya tha dna histone plus non histone plus some forming rna root chromosome okay acha in prophase dekhiye in prophase chromosomal material dekhiye in prophase chromosomal in in prophase chromosomal material ke kisko bolta hai chromatin chromatin are coiled and condensed to form chromosome to form chromosomes during prophase not telophase during pro phase but during telophase ulta hota hai during telophase chromosome se fir chromatin banta hai by pro, acha chromosomes during prophase are chromatin sorry sorry chromatin during prophase are coiled and condensed into chromosomes okay that means chromatin condensation chromatins are condensed chromatin is condensed to form chromosome at prophase lekin telophase mein ulta hota hai during telophase during telophase during telophase chromosomes are decondensed isko bolta hai decondensation of chromosome during telophase chromosomes are decondensed to form again chromatin around which nuclear envelope develop acha dekhiye question dekhiye chromosomal material matlab chromatin condenses to form compact mitotic chromosome at prophase at prophase theek hai acha next centromere split chromatids separate it occurs at anaphase of mitosis this occurs at prophase of mitosis ye yeah, anaphase 
chromosome decondensation occurs two form again ki two form again ki chromatin around which nuclear embryo occurs at what phase tello phase chromosome align at the spindle equator at what phase of mitosis meta phase and what is the correct sequence of m phase of mitosis prophase meta phase anaphase tello phase prophase a metaphase d okay then and then uh, anaphase kahan gaya An anaphase b anaphase b then uh, c c is what telophase this event so answer kon hoga ye kya uh, prophase kahan gaya a a then uh, a then D, then B, then C. कौन सा ऑप्शन होगा ये होगा स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इन आजकल का नीट स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड सेक्शन बी में स्टेटमेंट वन स्टेटमेंट टू स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन रीजन एसरसन क्वेश्चन देन मैचिंग क्वेश्चन मीन्स मैच लिस्ट वन विथ लिस्ट टू देन हुई ऑन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग और करेक्ट देट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम्स नाउ इट इज स्टेटमेंट वन सेंट्रियल सेपरेशन टू द ऑपोजिट पोल्स ऑफ द सेल ऑकर्स ड्यूरिंग प्रोफेस चिल्ड्रेन इज ए करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट यस दैट मीन सेंट्रियल इज ए पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रोजोम इन एनसीआर बुक यू विल गेट सेंट्रोजोम सेपरेशन टू द ऑपोजिट पोल्स ऑकर्स एट प्रोफेस सो दिस इज ट्रू करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट क्रोमोजोम डिकॉन्डेंस टू फॉर्म क्रोमेटिन ड्यूरिंग टेलोफेस ट्रू तो क्या होगा Both statement one and two are incorrect. No, statement one is correct, but statement two is false. Wrong. Statement one is false, but statement two is true. Wrong. Both statement one and statement two are correct. So answer will be four. So thank you very much, students. I wish you all the best for the next test. That is, uh, that is test number three. All the best. God bless you.